All right, guys, I thought it would take Thomas out for a wee dander, now he's attacking me, but um, I know this guy doesn't look great behind me, but I can, can I flip this camera? It looks dead on over there. There's a glorious 12. Darches up in it. Uh, but how are we all today, anyway? Um, I'm not sure what Tom says. What are you doing, dude? big dude? Gotta keep the morale up, you know. And the pigeons are everywhere. It's like bloody London, nearly having a pound pigeon shit there. But, uh, oh, it's a half decent day, so I thought I'd take them out, keep the morale up, you know. Uh, well, I've no doubt in my mind that the rain's going to start soon because in Northern Ireland, even if it's 50 degrees outside, the only thing you guaranteed you'll need is an umbrella. You know? But the pigeons are everywhere. But, uh, so I'm still here. Still haven't been still haven't been rubbed out by the government, so I suppose that's, that's, that's one thing. You know? But I um, wonder if I should have taken you for a wee dander about, but... Thomas wants to mess about here. You want to mess about here for a bit, do you? Yeah? It's going to take you for a wee saunter about. Show you my hometown. Show you how much of a shithole I live in. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not the town's fault. It's the... What do you call it? Let's see if this will fit in here. Will it fit in there and hold that up for me? Oh, look at that! It's too close to me now, though. Oh, see, not go back. Um... Ah, uh, it's not the it's not the the town's fault. It's the prices that everything is. You know the, the premises and stuff. You know, like I was saying in my past video, like places open and then two days later they're closed. You know, it's like I'm looking about here, and ninety percent of everything I'm looking at is boarded up. You know, it just needs investment. It, it needs money pumped into it because you know we call Lisburn a city, but it, it's the, it's not a city. It's 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 barely a village. You know. Uh, going by what what's in it, um, but that's the way it is, you know. Unless I was uh, in the executive, there's probably bugger all I can do about it. You, know, but uh, that's life. But um, no, Thomas was off school. He was off for a couple of days there. He's uh, started this sleepwalking again, which. Uh, which ain't good because I haven't had really a sleep in about three nights, a proper sleep. Maybe a couple hours here, a couple hours there, but sorry, I'm just watching him here because there's, there's water fountains and he's, I told him not to get wet and what's he doing? Hovering his feet over them. And they say, uh, what do you call it works? Um, what do you call that? Reverse psychology? Doesn't work with Thomas. Thomas, don't do that. And he doesn't do it. Thomas, go do that and he'll do it. You know, or Thomas, yes, yes, you mess about there. Yes, you do a big somersault into them water fountains. Yeah, work away. You know, being sarcastic. I know you go and do it. But then that's kids for you. That's the way they. That's the way they are nowadays. But and that's that's something I don't understand, right? There's things in my town. Right? They change the whole bandstand and put them bad boys up. Yeah, put them up. Big rusty, big monstrosity, big ugly looking things. Like what are they about? Um. It says on it, Sir Richard Wallace's arrival, landlord and philanthropist. I can't bloody say that. Lord, the night. But <coughs> there's plenty of preachers out today as well, which is good. Uh, it's always a good day to hear the word of God, you know. Well, there we go. And see, we see the RGC. Oh, I can't even zoom. Oh, I can. God save the king. Yeah, yeah, God save the king. Uh, see, regardless of what the United Kingdom does because of this Brexit crap, Northern Ireland will always be part of the UK. They can put borders up, they can do this, they can do that, they can reject us, whatever the hell they want. We will always be part of the UK. Well, for the time being anyway. But I'm thinking of um, going up to Wallace Park, dude. Do you want to? You want to go up to Wallace Park? No, because if you run through them, you get soaked. Thomas, look at them. You're going to run through that. Those things will go up about 50 foot in the air in a minute, and then you'll be soaked to the skin. <laughs> no, not good. Yes. It's not. It's not warm enough for you to get soaked, like. You know, maybe in the middle of the summer, whenever it's like 20 degrees or 21 degrees. 
for two days. See these birds, boy, they're friggin' mental. Absolute balls of steel, like, look. Look. Where's my foot? There he is. Thinks, thinks I've already got food or something on me. Look at how he's jumping. That's a nice pigeon to make, isn't it? Talking away, talking shit. Talking away, talking shit. Um, look, they're all coming there, a couple of young girls are throwing chips out for them, so there's a whole army of them coming, there's a big seagulls on their way, look, look, there he is, big bastard, <laughs> but, uh, look at them, they're all going crazy, when you see, they're all going mental over a few chips, what? Batman? That's a gull, see, people don't realise, they're actually called gulls, they're called seagulls when they're over the sea. They're called gulls when they're inland. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a wee bit of trivia for you. Not that you just give a shit anyway. But yeah, we'll go for a wee dander here, will we? I'm gonna go for a wee saunter about. See what the crack is here. What the crack is means see what's happening. Yes, you didn't realise that. Because it's strange. See if you say, if you got them bags, I see if you say to someone from England, well, what's the crack? They go, hmm? What's the crack? Hmm? That, 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 your bum? <laughs> no, what's the crack? What's happening? You know what? What's the deal? Um, but what? All right, I can say something there. So that there's the linen center there. And that's a big, beautiful church at the top of the town. See, it's not. It's a decent enough town. Like, it's just a. Uh, just needs millions pumped into it to, to get it sorted out and to get to get the. I don't want to say tourism, but. In a way, that's what it is, you know, to get the people coming into the place. But they're never going to do yeah, they got there because they waste money on shit and crap. They waste money on their own wages, lying in their own pockets, like I said in the last video, and just, just don't give a shit, you know. Like this place here, up, closed down. So Witherspoons, that used to be in the Lisburn Square, closed down as well, and they were meant to be moving into that because Witherspoons are always in historical buildings in the UK. Every time you go to a Witherspoons, it's in a lovely big historical building. Put it on your pocket, dude, so you're not carrying it. And uh, it would have been the perfect place for a Witherspoons. And then you don't have to go 40,000 miles to get to the toilet, because the toilet's just out the back, you know? But no, nothing's open there yet. And do you know what? Do you know when the Witherspoons will move there? I would say probably in about 50 years' time. I'd be, I'd be in my 80s, going down into the her fair paint in Witherspoons, you know? Uh, but one is not the reason why, one is but the sell and buy, you know, but that's the way it is. And the same with the, the housing executive as well. Tons of homeless in Lisbon, tons of people on the housing lists, tons of families homeless, and yet I would say easily 20,000 houses in Lisbon, well maybe not as much as that, but 2,000 maybe, not even because Lisbon's fucking tiny, but I would say maybe three or 400 houses all owned by the council, all sitting boarded up, burnt out, uh, racked, derelict, hanging the bits, and uh, don't do anything about it, you know? But unfortunately, that's how they work. Because it's all to do with lying in their own skyrockets. But there's nothing you can do about it unless you're like Prime Minister or unless you're like uh, high up in the politics or something, you know? Or high up in the executive. Um, Look at this here, look. There's a good loyal building there by Orange Hall. Nice. The yeah. uh, Ferrari, that's the guy that owns that uh, architecture place has a drive. Is it a Ferrari? Yeah, yeah uh, it's a Ferrari. I thought it was Nelson Martin. Or not Nelson Martin, uh, what do you call them other ones you like? Lamborghini? No, it's a, uh, I think it is. It's a, it's a nice blue colored Ferrari, isn't it? No, oh, it's red. Is it red? Yeah, it's red, right? It's not Ferrari red, though. But, yeah, it's a sweet car, like. Uh, hold on, we're just waiting here a wee second. That's us. <laughs> See, it isn't even a big dander, like, up to this park, you know? It only takes a couple of minutes. You're at it already. Um, Lisburn Music Centre. It used to be Music Matters, owned by Stevie McLaughlin. Boy, it was a good shop and he owned it, I tell you what. Uh, we were always in there talking away to him, lovely big fella too. Would have done anything for you, you know, that, that kind of person. Um, 
if you needed strings for your guitar, if you needed anything, he'd have sorted you out, you know, uh, he, was, he, would, he would have discounted slinky strings and everything for you, you know, just to, not to get your seal, but just to help you out, you know, he was just that type of guy, and uh, he, he runs the Lisburn School of Music, and it is a fantastic music studio, um, but, so if any of you are looking, looking at any guitar, any sort of instrument, he does, he can play anything, honestly, anything he puts his hands on, he can play it, uh, just that kind, kind of guy, kind of like my, my second cousins, they're all the same, uh, anything they put their hands on, they can play it, but, yeah, I think the last time we were in Wallace Park, dude, you were boxing, weren't you, you had a, you had a fight? Lord Mayor's Parade, yeah, which was a washout. You know, the Lord Mayor's Parade normally you can't get moving in Wallace Park, but. It was crappy. At the Lord Mayor's Parade, there people were few and far between, trust me, they're all standing under shelters and all shivering. <laughs> and it was pissing down, but. So, what can you do? Here, stay frosty. I think that's a reference to Frosty Jacks. Which is Boca. I know, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we're going in here now. There's Amazon delivery van pulling down a wee tiny, tiny lane. See Amazon delivery, like they are the best delivery on the planet by far. They will go through hell and high water to get your delivery to you. I actually saw a video on uh, YouTube. It was like this full on shootout in America. Police shooting out with a full on police shootout with this guy. In the middle of it all, this wee Amazon delivery man walking up with a package under his arm. In the middle of it, like, I was like, that just shows you, like, Amazon always deliver. There's never a, an excuse, there's never anything, they always deliver. So that's why, if, if for any reason Amazon are delivering your package and it's damaged in any way, or the box is damaged in any way, the delivery driver will automatically bring it back. And that hap that's happened to me a couple of times before. And... I'd give off to Amazon, but, you know, it's just their customer service, you know, they're trying to give you the best service, so there's no point in, you know, feel bad for giving off to them, but back then I didn't know that that's, that's the way, that's what their policies were. Yeah, the park is open. Well, there's one wee girl in the swing there. There's one person on the zip line. So it should be open. Um, but yeah. Someone flying down one of the electric scooters doing about 30. They're fucking dangerous, them things. It's going to take someone to be killed. Watch, don't go in that cycle lane, dude, because you're doing coming on a bike. It's a cycle lane, you can't walk up the cycle lane. No. They're fucking dangerous, them. Tell you what, if anybody hit me in an electric scooter or hit my son in an electric scooter, I'd fucking kill them. That's something that there needs to be a law brought in with because. They're dangerous. You know, that's like basically giving a nine or ten year old uh, free reign to do a 30 mile an hour on a, on a vehicle. How does that make sense? But then, unfortunately, that's the world we live in now. I don't think is that open, dude? Yeah. Well, here, uh, we're at the park. I'm going to have to put this camera away because uh, there's kids in the park and I don't really want to be videoing about with a camera, you know, when there's kids about. So, I'll catch you in the next one anyway. Enjoy your good days.